All right, what's up, you guys? Today I wanted to show you the uh, ice cream sandwich launcher. It was just released uh, a couple of days ago, and it's not, of course, the real ice cream sandwich launcher. They built it off of the honeycomb launcher that I showed earlier, and uh, they just based it off the pictures, pretty much. And they they use that uh, honeycomb launcher because this is supposed to merge tablets and phones together in perfect harmony, and uh, so they're assuming it's going to be part honeycomb and parts like Android like phone Android so uh, let's take a quick look at it it's in alpha still so if you have a lot of the apps running in the background I'm having to, I find myself having to clear my apps a lot uh, running apps but if you don't have a lot of apps running it's pretty smooth you need a mid to high end phone so if you have something like the Aria or the Wildfire I don't think this will work too too well <coughs> excuse me and uh, you have three home screens uh, no pinch to zoom or anything, it's supposed to be stock. And uh, you can do a bounce effect if you'd like. It's in the settings. And it's uh, pretty smooth as you can see. When you open up the app drawer, you'll see along the top apps, widgets, and the market button. So if you hit the market button, it'll take you right to the market. Uh, yeah, widgets. It'll bring up this. I don't know why this is in the app drawer, but it is. And, it is. and you can see they customize the icons for, uh, for all this. I'll get deeper into that in a little bit and then you have the apps option which is already on and the app drawer uh, this is one of the laggier parts of the launcher uh, if you saw my video on the honeycomb launcher the app launcher on there was uh, also very laggy and this is like an edited port of that and it's not as laggy but it's still uh, slightly laggy but it works fine for, uh, if you don't have too much running in the background uh, along the bottom you'll notice you have your app drawer icon <coughs> Ah, excuse me. Uh, your phone button, your browser button, and uh, this interesting little button right there. It has uh, a couple icons inside of it, and if you hit it, it's going to bring up that thing from Honeycomb. That's uh, like that running apps kind of uh, preview. This does not show you're running apps for real. It just shows uh, apps that you might use often, like browser and market, SMS, email, calendar, gallery, music, maps and settings it doesn't show your actual real running apps which is uh... hopefully coming in the future if they continue developing on this so let's go home and uh... one thing you'll notice is this google widget if you'll focus uh... it's kinda nicely skinned they change up the mic icon and the uh... the google icon and then when you hop in it's the same thing as it usually is but they just add a little bit of nice eye candy to it so let's hit up in here uh... right here You'll notice you have shortcuts, widgets, folders, wallpapers, ice cream sandwich wallpapers, and launcher preferences. <coughs> uh, all these, I'll, you'll know wallpapers, folders, widgets, and shortcuts. That's the same thing as it always is, but they have some uh, different icons. And it actually, the icons look really nice. Uh, so the last two things are new, ice cream sandwich wallpapers and launcher preferences. So let's hop in the launcher preferences real quick. Uh, I'll show you the settings. And this is all they have in terms of settings. Is wallpaper hack. Uh, live wallpaper support says so does have live wallpaper support. I'll show you in a sec. Uh, hide icon labels, which is going to take off if it says market. It won't say market. It'll just show the icon. Enable desktop mouse, which looks a little bit nicer. And enable hide notification, which I assume hides the notification bar. And then when you choose your settings, you just hit if I can get, uh, apply settings, and then your settings will be applied. So now one really nice thing I like about this. It actually looks really good as the ice cream sandwich wallpapers option, and uh, it gives what it gives like a new wallpaper selection kind of thing. It looks really good actually, just the way it's built. Uh, right here it says tap image below to says wallpaper, and right here it says image below will seem squished but will look perfect as wallpaper, and it just looks a little bit nicer than the stock Android one. And it comes with three uh, wallpapers pre-installed, and that's all you can get right out of this one right now, and it gives like a nice just transparent effect on the uh, ones on the side and it just made it look real nice and the wallpapers are really nice too and uh, let's try out a live wallpaper real quick so you'll hop into regular wallpapers and it'll give you these options so I'll hit live wallpaper and let's try blue C and this is a pretty one, uh, intense one and it lags on both launchers except touch with I don't know if they did that for a reason or not but it actually runs extremely well. I don't have any uh, very many apps running in the background, 
but it actually runs really uh, extremely well for better than uh, what I expected out of it. And now I'm going to try Nexus, which is just kind of a default one. And it runs perfectly fine. I'm going to clear my running apps real quick. And it runs even better. Uh, as you can see, it's not laggy at all. It does not support the touch to uh, make more dots. Oh. And uh, if you go in any other launcher, you can just tap it and it'll make more of the little dots and stuff. So it does not support that for the Nexus one. It did support that on the Blue C. So it's a little curious, but it's perfectly fine. Uh, if you go into the app drawer, it makes it a little bit more laggy in the app drawer. Uh, which is kind of expected. So uh, this is of course not an official port or an official look for the uh, ice cream sandwich launcher. It's just an interpretation of it and it's extremely nice. It's still in beta and it works amazing for a beta. So guys, uh, I'll give you a link to the XDA uh, post and forum and it's a completely free download and make sure to, uh, that if it works for your phone tell me how it works and to thank those guys at XDA that built this. Alright guys, remember rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.